hear a notebook or a notepad, what comes to your mind? Well, if you're thinking about the basic paper that's covered by another hard paper, then you've got another thing coming. Because that's not what the Mons Black Augmented Paper is all about. In fact, it's quite the opposite. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm talking about. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because it's going to help me to improve on my channel. Thank you. So at the top of the device, you'll find the slider which serves as the power button. Then at the bottom, a micro USB port for charging. I think it came with a USB cable in the, in the box, but unfortunately I couldn't get the accessories that came with the device. So, opening it up, the case houses a notepad, a pen and the device manual. So let's take a look at the manual first. So in the manual, you find instructions like the basic stuff such as charging, turning it on and connecting it. Also a list of accessories that came with the device and how to install the recommended app. So this is the page. This is for charging. Then this is how to get the app. Then the LED indicators and what they mean and the refill for the pen. Now talking about the pen, let's check out the pen. Holding this pen in your hand, you just get the premium feel from the build quality to the ergonomics. And this pen comes with refills and additional tips out of the box. And I think the pen plays an essential role in the whole augmented paper thing. And it feels really smooth to write with. So first thing you need to do to get started with the device is turning it on before you use it. So to do that, you just have to go to the top side of the device and slide the power button until you see the LED indicator turn on. Yeah, it's on. So let's write something. That first line I wrote is not useful because uh, I didn't turn on the device before writing so it's only save what I'm writing right now because I already turned on the device. Now keep an eye on the behavior of the LED when the pen interacts with the paper. You see the blue color gets brighter when the pen touches the paper. As you can see the light gets brighter, just look at it. See, 
get brighter when the pen touches the paper. Now let me bring it up. As you can see, it gets brighter. So that is trying to tell you that it's establishing a connection with the pen and the paper. So let's remove the pen from this uh, notepad and see. Okay, nothing happens. Let's put it back on the case. Now it's back on. So I think the device is the main device is the case and not even the notepad that it's housing. So there must be a sensor under here that's feeling the pen movement and converting it to writing. And that's why it's sealed up this way. To prevent people like me from opening it. Okay, so when you're through with writing, you just press that button again and need to bring up a green LED. So now let's open up the app. By the way, you can get this app on the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store and install for free. Yeah, this is the company logo on the app. So you just have to agree to their terms and conditions and basic stuff. Now let's set it up with our device. It requires Bluetooth connection and some other permissions you have to turn on your device. The setup is really easy and all you have to do is follow the instructions on the screen and you have no issues with it. So I think there are two models of this augmented paper and the one we have here is the once black augmented paper, not the plus version. So it's asking for the orientation. Once you do all that, it's asking you to press and hold the button until the blue light starts blinking. So we're doing that right now. Okay, it's blinking now. Okay, tap to confirm. So yeah, we have successfully set up our device with the app. Now let's wait for it to sync. If you remember at the beginning of this video when I wrote something on the notepad, well, let's wait for it to download. Yeah, this is it. So, and there are a number of things I can do with this now. So you just tap on that button up there, yeah. It looks like an export sign. So I may decide to convert this to text and maybe save it in the documents or as a text file or convert it to PDF or even save it as an image on my phone. So it's converting to text now. And just so you know, this app doesn't use, doesn't require internet connection or Wi-Fi. So it's completely offline. Except you want extra features like saving some things on the cloud. That's when you, you need an yeah, internet connection. But for now, we are not using any internet connection. So, yeah. And this app has other useful features you might want to check out later. So feel free to go through the app and check what the app can do. This is like a notepad or something. It's an eraser and 
different pen types and pen colors so that's pretty much it for the app so i thought to myself what happens when you run out of pages to write on and you don't really have cash to replace the notepad because the notepad alone goes for about 70 dollars on the official website well you can just slip in any note notebook there and use it in the meantime yeah as you can see it's reacting to the paper so that means it's working that's all for now and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this thank you very much see you in my next video